Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Unity of Command 2, an upcoming strategy game by 2x2 Games. It comes out on November 12th on Steam, and it is a turn-based World War II strategy game that lets you play through the war from the Western Allies' perspective. It's a little bit of a simpler war game in terms of uh, some of the way the game is, is sort of approached. It's kind of, in some sense, there's a little bit of Panzer General, a little bit of uh, strategic uh, command. Um, but there is a really well done component in this game that I think is uh, unique amongst most of these types of games. And that is logistics. The game includes uh, the really the importance of building and expanding uh, supply dumps and, and building new supply dumps and keeping up with your advance and the, the penalties that come with a foolhardy advance. And I think you see that a little bit in today's episode. Um, so I don't want to spoil too much. This is part three of our first look uh, at Unity of Command 2. It's taken from a live stream from just a couple of days ago. Uh, but we're about to embark on Operation Husky, our first attempt at an amphibious assault. And just as the Allies historically suffered a lot of harsh lessons in Operation Husky, their first amphibious assault, and their Italian amphibious assaults in general that would be put to good use and would be well learned by the time of D-Day, I too learn a lesson about amphibious assaults and logistics, and um, then we might need to set up that, that Civil War cracker line to keep our troops fed, because, oops, let's watch it, let's see how it plays out, I'm not going to spoil more than that, but I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys at the end, this was taken from a live stream from my, from my Twitch channel from a couple of days ago, but I'll catch you guys on the flip side, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, let's commence Operation Husky. Can you, like, replay previous scenarios? Oh, you can if it was your last played scenario. So I guess you can do it for like more points if you're trying to score more. And away we go! Husky. Husky, husky, husky. A-F-H-Q. Your forces lay ready off the shores of Sicily. Once the beaches are secured, uh, British 8th Army should advance on your main objective, Messina. Taking Messina will cut off any remaining Axis forces on the island. The U.S. 7th Army will provide flanking support. The few German uh, units present constitute a large threat until your forces have secured a foothold. In order to ensure your success, the upcoming operation, AFHQ, has reinforced the following units. 1st USID, 50th BRID, 51st BID. Okay. Okay, so we get these units. We have these troops... Oh, I have to land them in the preparatory phase. So this is actually like turn one, I guess. Normally there's this whole like, you, whatever. So this is turn one, apparently. Good to know. Land the troops. So instead of having like an actual support phase, like usual. Land him over a hostile beach. Drop him back. Oh, no! <laughs> well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Don't land him over a hostile beach. We just got those troops shot to pieces. Don't do what I just did. Don't ever do what I just did. All right, so we took that supply depot, I guess. It's not linked up with anything yet. Let's take a look at some recon here. Is there anything after the air? Okay, we're gonna be bold. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and bombard some, some troops. Bombard these guys. Bombard these guys in Syracuse. Are we gonna turn Syracuse into rubble? Yes, we might. But Syracuse is now ours, or should be. Apparently not. In any event, we destroyed a lot of enemy units around here. We just can't move. We used all our movement points up, I guess. OK. 
Okay. All right, well, that's phase turn one, I guess. Let's go ahead and end the turn. We landed all the troops who could land. Apparently, when you don't land them, they just die. I don't quite understand that. It's like, oh, you didn't land them off the, off the landing craft, so they're all dead. Huh? All right. Move these troops into Syracuse. They could use a little bit of rest. Move these troops north to attack these German troops from the rear. Use our naval bombardment against these guys. Probably should have used them against the... Um, So these guys should be back in supply, I think. We don't have a depot. Let's set one up. All right, we'll set a level two supply depot up in Syracuse. Should supply some of these troops. Go ahead and aerial bombard these Italian tanks. How long? We've got 13 turns on this one, really? I mean, we're shredding these guys. linked up in the center. Alright, so we've got... Do we have supply down here? What is this? This is a port, but it's not a depot yet, right? Why can't I do this? This guy will supply the north. And do we have reinforcements? Deploy now. Why can't I deploy them there? Do I have to bring them into an actual port? Nice! American armor is ashore! Die! Boom! We drove them back! Alright, what about the other units? 4th British Armored. Can't come ashore yet. Syracuse, you troops are in the way. So why don't you move? And we'll bring the 4th British Armored to shore at Syracuse. Drive north! Hit those Italians! Alright. Alright, so that was a good attack there. Moving north toward Messina. Uh, we've taken the Kent Katana Airfield by turn 3. We've got till turn 7 so for most of the rest of this stuff. So, uh, yeah. Do that. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Italians not prepared for anything as usual. Worst ally ever. Yeah, probably. Oh no, they swept in behind us. They took the uh, supply depot or they took the port of the Katata. How do you pronounce that? Oh boy. Why are they always sweeping into our rear? It's like, oh, well, they got into your rear. But don't worry about it because they're just going to die. Because apparently that's all they're good for. Boom! We took that. Meanwhile, this German armor is like, yep, you're not gonna fuck with us. Bomb them! Supply! We got it! Um... I don't know what the HQ thing is. Like, okay, so I can deploy them here. I don't really understand how HQs work in this game, to be honest. Whoops. I can't deploy them. They're in the hex we deploy them in. But I don't have any more naval bombardment. I want more naval bombardment. They're on the one hex I was going to deploy my reinforcements in. Those jerks, they took the port. It's almost like they knew what they were doing. All right, so this is gonna be the opposite of historical Monty. No, oh, there's German, German tanks there. Don't do that. Don't get yourself shot to pieces. 
I like how it has that like ominous music too. It's like, dun, dun, you're fucked. All right. Well. How do the Germans have supply in there? That's my question. There's no way they got supply down there. We'll bring our tanks back in a second. Um, all right, so the British armor's there. Is there more units we can deploy? Just the Americans who can't deploy because their port is taken. The British are doing okay. They're driving on Messina. Syracuse has already fallen. Uh, take Lakata. Oh, well, we lost the port. Let's turn three. We're going to lose that. No! All right, we're going to lose that minor objective. Yeah, Neuhauser, I didn't protect my flank. You're 100% correct. Whatever, we just took the port now. Everybody's out of supply. Palermo by turn seven. Palermo's pizza. Advance! Screw the flanks. Just charge. David Glasgow Farragut. God damn the flanks. Full speed ahead. No, that's not what he said. But it's maybe what he should have said. Um... I'm wondering if we just cut the German armored flank off. Hoping. Hoping we may have done that. You know, it looks like we used all our bombardment because we're not getting any more of that. We just destroy the enemy. We just beat them in another battle. Alright. Okay, so more reinforcements? Canadians? Come on down! Get us that Canadian armor. Sweep up the flank. U.S. armor can't come ashore because there's a unit there. Go figure. Good. We'll weaken that enemy armor here. We could sweep it around those Germans. They did fall back to get more supply. So I'm going to move up here again. I'm exposing my own flank, but I'm trying to make sure that he stays out of supply. So we'll see if that works. And we'll move forward to the next turn. Turn number five. Their armor's like, shit, shit, guys, we got no fuel. Charge forward. All right, so we did cut off the fuel supply for this German unit. I don't know what the X meant. <laughs> All right, so our own armor is out of supply, but the good news is, so are the bad guys. He's surrounded and destroyed, overrun. These guys need to fall back. I'm not doing any logistical homework. We have no logistics. Okay. Let's fix that, huh? Why is it not moving up at all to the left? I can't deploy anything on the left here? What's wrong with the left side of the island? Everything's just going to be out of supply. Okay, well then just fall back because I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um... Like, what is that? Why is there no supply going that direction? All it does is go to the right. None of it goes to the left. Why aren't you going to the left? Whatever. We'll spend that. We'll get these guys back in supply at least. Meanwhile... Uh, 
expand their supply. Aerial bombardment, we'll go ahead and hit these guys. Nice, that was a very effective aerial bombardment. What can this armor do against him? Nearly destroyed him. And we just took their supply depot. So we're moving on the main objectives. I mean, that's the key thing. Which is up to the east. I guess we probably have to... If we can link these roads up, I'm guessing that'll go a long way towards solving our supply problem. There's so much disruption throughout the entire island. I think that's part of the problem. Other than the rail lines. This, I, this map seems to have like 50% disruption on any given hex. Any given hex, 50% disruption. We can deploy the U.S. armor there. Does that make any change? Does charging forward like that do anything for our supply situation here? Okay, good. So it does advance the supply up a little bit to the left now. Do I plan to stream anything else tonight? XZ52. Probably not. Probably just this game. Uh, Mefli2, thank you for the follow. Okay. The enemy is in full retreat. Thank you. All right, so there's enemy armor. I really could use some naval bombardment. Let's go take that. Nice. Boom! Destroyed him. Okay, we need another supply depot over here to the left. But I can't put anything to the left. Why can't I put any supply depots? I guess that'll work for the most part. I don't really understand some of this stuff. All right. Main objectives anyway are to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and call an aerial bombardment in on these guys. Take out two of those. We'll suppress them. They'll get driven back. No, they won't actually. So we'll have our infantry overrun them. We'll have our armor sweep in behind them. Take those prisoners. Infantry moves up. All right. So Syracuse, these guys should be in supply. Again, the whole supply situation is kind of a mess. No bombardment, just some recon. Most of our armor shifted west on the island, which is interesting, I guess. We're not even to turn seven yet. Germans are moving around, but they're not really attacking much. Hey, we took we took the trucks. We overran something. Wait, all of our troops! All of our troops on the left side, like, dispersed! I guess that happens? When you have no supply? Supposedly, I guess. Even this armor, like, like they took some supply, but now they're cut off. Do we have any reinforcements coming? US 7th. Maybe it's the issues we don't have in a headquarters unit. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Um... Meanwhile, Messina. All right, let's 
units. Um, these guys, they're in supply. Headquarters unit back there, one KIA, move forward here. Finish them off. Do. Should link our troops back up from a supply perspective, I think. Almost. One of the units still will be out of supply. And I think we'll bomb Messina next turn and hopefully take it by the end of turn seven. We'll have to see what other American troops here on the left. U.S. 3rd ID is KIA out of supply. Six units supply disrupted. Seventh. So, like, because of the supply, because the supply situation got so desperate for some of our units, they actually were destroyed. Interestingly enough, a bunch of failed secondaries. Still don't fully understand how some of these units are without supply. Aren't those two hexes there? I'm kind of confused. take Messina. I probably should have saved naval bombardment for that. Shit. This is just a logistical fuck up. Uh, when I, when I disrupt enemy units and they, um, and they are kind of dispersed, you can capture prisoners, which I think impacts your overall score. Alright, pull these guys back. Troops are out of supply because I don't know how to manage logistics. Hey, hey, hey. Retreat. Everybody retreat to where you can find supply. All right. I really need to figure this out. All right. These guys are going to be in supply along the railway. That's fine. How many more turns do we have? Do we have like three turns left? Great, we just lost Canadian armored out of supply, US infantry out of supply, both destroyed. I feel like the key in this one is to like Almost destroyed the one enemy unit up here. Losing all these troops on the flanks. I don't even need to take the... That's the point, is like, I don't even really need to take these objectives. The fact that I don't have a rail link is the real issue. 
I've got rail from the port all the way up here, but it's all, you know, this is probably, I'm guessing, a good lesson for oh. managing, like, amphibious assaults because you need ports to bring supply in ashore is kind of my take of all this. So when you don't have that, you kind of get screwed. Because I think right now you can see here that you've got the supply line up the railway. Three more units killed due to out of supply. But now that we took that, we should have... How do we not... Oh, we don't have... We don't have Messina. That's the issue. It's the key rail link here. So with Messina now, now we have supply all along this railway. Okay. Well, it's a victory. A bloody one. But it's a victory. Should be. That was not pretty. Objectives completed. I guess that's the best way you can... You can phrase this. You won the battle because your objectives... Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. No, no, no. Just end the battle already. All right. End scenario. All right. So we lost a lot. Congratulations. You almost failed. So I'm assuming there's another conference now, right? Next conference. HQ upgrades are available. So we have 410 prestige. We can use it on some elite replacements. We can use it on Avro Lancasters. We get the Polish Paris. They come back. Uh, photo recon. I haven't found super useful. Uh, the extra bombers are, are certainly useful. So I think actually, and, and here's the thing, and, and I wonder if this is an issue or not, but like we just spent our max. What is this? Oh, so we can sell stuff we don't want. There's not anything I don't want. Can I drop? No, I can't drop cards I haven't purchased. But now I've still got 330 prestige left, and it's like, alright, well, I can just probably afford most of this extra stuff. So there you go. I'm spending like all my prestige, like gangbusters. The Americans don't have any of the... They didn't have any of, like, the fixed attack stuff. So we were just able to upgrade, like, almost everything real fast. Fifth Army under Mark Clark's going to be invading Italy. Eighth British Army under Montgomery is also going to be moving there. So we don't get the Europe map yet. It's still moving up the Italian boot. So the next one's going to be Avalanche, the invasion of the Italian mainland. By the way, the map did update, guys. Um, the next one's going to be Avalanche, followed by the Volturno Line... And then Monte Cassino, all taking place before D-Day. So my guess is the next conference then will take place uh, prior to D-Day. And then we'll kind of have to really manage some of our resources. But we're moving up the Italian boot. Strategic situation doesn't really have appeared to have changed a whole lot on the Russian front over the last couple of months. Uh, but that's the situation right now, guys. Monte Cassino, I'm sure, will be a cakewalk, right? Like, there's no reason that should be difficult. That's... That was, that was known to be uh, an easy battle. With that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed yet another look at Unity of Command 2. This was a bit of a cluster. Probably difficult to watch for anybody who's good at this game or knows the game previously. That was a rough going for yours truly. We starved tens of thousands of allied troops, and we would surely be sacked for incompetence. But at the end of the day, we took the island. We took the base. We won the battle. I don't know how that's going to impact the battles going forward. If we lose those troops permanently, if they just, you know, lead a little bit of food and a little bit of rest and relaxation, and then they can participate in the invasion of Italy. I don't really know, but we'll find out in our next battle because, whoa, that was rough. And that was a good first look, I think, at the importance of understanding your logistics and why logistics are important and trying to operate for an extended period of time beyond your logistics is just asking for a lot of trouble. Uh, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Until next time, uh, this is the Historical Gamer. As always, saying, saying thank you guys for the support, uh, the continued encouragement, and your continued thoughts. Uh, feel free to share your thoughts below. But until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you once again for watching. And until next time. I'm out.